I'm trying to do my words on the page a thon vlog, but this little so and so wants a bit fuss, don't you, Biggie? Say hello to the internet. Yeah. All right, so it's 25 past one in the morning. Girlfriend's asleep through there. I should probably be quieter. She sleeps through anything though, it's fine. And uh, yeah, I'm watching, <laughs> I'm watching PewDiePie play Undertale whilst working on meat, basically. I've done, what have I done? About 1900 words and I'm an hour and 25 minutes in, so that's good. I probably should sleep at some point, but I also have beer and pizza. There's the pizza. They put a face on the pizza box and it really, I find it quite disturbing. What about you, Biggie? What do you think? Okay. Someone has stolen my seat. Biggie, who stole my seat? Did you steal my seat? Well, I've got a treat here. Oh, should we give you a treat? Oh, let's do your trick on camera. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Go on then. Go on then. Good boy. So it's uh, 2.15 in the morning and I can hear my neighbour walking around upstairs. I think he might be annoyed. I don't know. I haven't met him yet. 3,000 words. I might do a bit more before I go to bed. I don't know. We'll see. All right, it is, what is it? It is 20 to four in the afternoon. It's daytime now, I am awake. I am on. How many words am I on, Becca? I don't know, you tell me. I'm on 5,700 words. Woo. Yeah. And on that note, I suppose I should get back to it. Here is where the magic happens with my array of screens. Mm, those are my socks, odd socks. Okay, so I shaved my beard off because I have this little spot on my face and it's really irritating me. So I thought I'd shave my beard off as well. I don't know why I'm telling you that really. I've got the, the cameras on a tripod so it's not really easy to sort of a vloggy style do this. What time is it? It is 6.15pm. I have done 7,896 words. My goal is 10,000 so I think I should hit that and then... I guess then I can just relax or just keep writing. I was hoping to kind of get to near the end of this book as well that I'm writing and I'm not near the end. I don't know, I'm about halfway through the third and final act. But then there's also a bunch of stuff I need to go back in and add as well. I think this is going to be pushing 130, 140,000 words when it's done. But uh, yeah. I also have no idea what's going to happen next in the story because it's kind of... You know when you're writing and it like changes as you go along? So, I don't know. I kind of know how it's going to end, but I don't know what's gonna, what, how these steps in between are going to happen. So, yeah. If I look uncomfortable down here, it's because I am. I'm kneeling on the floor. That's why the camera's wonky and everything, and oh, the sign's knackered. Let me try and, there we go. I could probably, there we go. That's much better. Uh, it is now, it is 6.35 p.m., so I have, five and a half hours left to go. I've hit 7,800 words or 7,900, something like that. I'm actually gonna take a break in a minute from my novel. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of reviews for my blog, update my journal, stuff like that, but I'm gonna include it towards my word count because why not? But I do wanna hit 10,000 words on the novel and then anything extra that can be from planning. I've gotta plan some books and all this other fun stuff, which you probably don't wanna know about. I also have a parcel that arrived, so we're gonna have a look at it. You may be watching this uh, during my haul video. If you are, hello. Sorry about the audio. I didn't bother using it for my vlog style stuff. Oh, how exciting. 
Dear Dane, please find enclosed your copy of the book of Riga. I hope when reading it you find yourself transported back to the beautiful streets of Riga. Best wishes, Becca. And this is from Comma Press. This is the book of Riga, a city in short fiction, edited by Eva Eglaja, Chris Zone and Becca Parkinson. And I'm pretty excited about this because it's all Latvian literature and whatnot. Alright, on that note I'm going to go do some writing as well. Okay, so it is a, a couple of days afterwards. The readathon, was, the writeathon was on the Saturday, and it is now Monday. Uh, I have an ear infection, so I have not been very well. Basically, everything is dizzy and feels horrible. But I don't think it's because I wrote so much. I, I think I just I always have ear infections. I've been like really vulnerable to them since I was a kid, so not ideal. But yeah. I wrote in the end a grand total of 12,888 words, so that was 12,032 words on meat, which is the novel I'm working on, did 202 words in some reviews and 654 words on various notes and my journal and stuff. So it's about the same amount I wrote last time, I'm pretty happy with it. All is good, now I just need to crack on with editing the rest of this video together and uh, sharing it with you guys, it'll probably be out kind of late. So now I have antibiotics yay anyway on that note thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit subscribe hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video drop me a comment if you feel like it and I'll see you soon for another bookish video I guess because I don't do writing ones that often let me know if you want to see more writing things and, and I'll see what I can come up with all right bye bye